So the research we've been doing is creating a MATLAB algorithm for the automated measurement of human epidermal thickness um, from OCT images. Now, our algorithm um, needs to take in these OCT images and through a series of um, image pre-processing steps um, prepares them for use of an edge detection algorithm throughout the image which actually identifies both the dermal epidermal junction and the skin surface junction which are two features present uh, in the image that you can actually see with the naked eye. It's very useful for us to be able to automatically measure human epidermal thickness because actually the current gold standard technique for measuring epidermal thickness at the moment um, is, is, is using, is bringing up the image on the computer but um, a, a, a human operator um, uh, needs to trace throughout the image both the, the skin surface and the dermal epidermal junction and the way he traces this is using some kind of graphics tablet essentially to, to trace along these boundaries. Now at the moment this is not ideal because it's, it takes a very long time um, and it takes a lot of effort to, to accurately trace these boundaries and actually sometimes the, the dermal epidermal junction in particular is very subjective where it's located. So we need to speed up this process and if we use an automated algorithm that identifies both of these layers it, it allows us to, to more efficiently um, analyse a very large data set of a very large number of images. Now the algorithm actually consists of a series of pre-processing steps to the image. So our image, our image isn't perfect, it isn't ideal, it's, it contains a lot of speckle, uh, a lot of noise and a lot of other, other uh, line artefacts throughout the image which are, are caused by, you know, inherent in the OCT modality itself in the equipment. Now, if we can eliminate those, um, then the identification by the computer of the dermal epidermal junction and the skin surface junction will be a lot easier. So, the filters that we apply as part of this pre-processing uh, is, is initially a homomorphic filter as well as a, a Gaussian filter on the log of the image. These filters have associated filtration parameters within them which need to be set. So what we've done is set up a graphical user interface as part of the algorithm, which prompts the user to change the values of these, of these parameters of the filtration to enable the, the dermal epidermal junction to really be brought out and seen more easily in the image with the eye. Now really, the outcomes that we've seen from developing this algorithm have been that the skin surface junction is, is very easily identifiable by the computer and quite reliably so, but despite the image pre-processing steps to get rid of some of the, uh, the artefacts in the image, it's, it's really at this stage not enough to be able to have a reliable thickness measurement. So the real, the real benefits of this algorithm um, is, to, is to speed up this, this current gold standard that's being used of a human operator measurement. And being able to input large data sets, i.e. large numbers of images from many different patients, um, from many different locations around each patient on the skin surface, is really a, a good technique which will be um, very useful for people in industry or others in research who are wishing to, to have a large throughput of images. Thank you.